Welcome back to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In this video I'm going to show you how to build on the basic house that we did in our previous video tutorial and make ourselves an advanced house. So if we go for a wander inside you'll see our advanced house has a bed, a light which is just a torch, a bookshelf, some extra windows on the sides of the house and you might have noticed when we walked in on top of the roof we've got an extra layer so it just gives it a bit more of a sophisticated look I suppose. So to get started on making this advanced house you'll need to pop over to your Python editor as usual by using Mu and I want you to write in those first two lines of code that allow us to import all the functions from the Minecraft library and connect the two apps to one another. I want you to also add in the code that uh, clears the world for you so each time we run our code we have an empty canvas to build on. First thing we're going to add in today are the building blocks that we need to create this house. So I put in a comment that says building blocks and I want you to add in a brick first of all. We know from the last video that the brick block ID number is 45. You can always refer to your block ID list over here and have a look through and work out which blocks you would like to use and what the corresponding ID number is with them. Uh, but if you want to copy me just copy what I'm writing down basically. So brick is equal to 45. Uh, we're going to have air, which is equal to zero. That's going to be used to hollow out the house and make the doorway. We're also going to be using a glass pane for the window. The glass pane number is 102. Uh, we've got the roof, which is just an iron roof. That's equal to 42 on the block ID sheet. We've got a bed that's equal to 26. We've got a torch, which is equal to 50. And a bookshelf which is equal to 47. So they're all the blocks we're going to be using to build our advanced house today. Next up we're going to do the house dimensions which is going to be slightly bigger than the basic house that we used just um, in the last video. So the width across the front of the house today is going to be six blocks. The height is going to be set to five blocks and the length is going to be set to ten blocks. Final thing I want to do to get set up today is uh, write down the starting coordinates. So we'll just write set the coordinates. We're going to set x, y and z to zero. So that's the middle of the world that we're going to start building in. You'll see that in a lot of the tutorials I use zero, zero, zero for my starting coordinates. You don't have to follow that. If you want to build on another part of the world by all means change those coordinates. But just to keep things simple that's why I use zero, zero, zero. Alright, so we're all good to go now. We've got our blocks set up, our coordinates and our dimensions ready to roll. So I'm going to make a bit of room now towards the bottom and we're going to start building our house. So let's start with the brick slab. We'll put in a comment that says house and just like we did in the last video, we just need to write mc.setBlocks and in brackets we'll start with x, y and z for our starting coordinates. And then we're just going to do x plus length. Oops. Y plus the height. And we're going to do z plus the width. Final thing we need to add in is the block. Oh, I've just typed in the wrong thing, I think. Hang on, where are we? X plus length, y plus height. Oh, sorry, I have written in the right thing. It's brick that we need to type in at the end because we want to use the brick variable back up here, which is number 45, to build our house. So I'll close those brackets off. I think I've got this right. Just save that as number 14, advanced house, and give it a run. And Let's see what appears. It should be just a big brick slab. Yeah, I did get it right, sorry. I was confusing myself there for a moment. So if we were to dig into that, you can see it's just all brick inside of there. It's not hollowed out yet, so if I were to make a door, I wouldn't be able to walk inside the house anyway. So. Let's hollow that house out now with a bit of air. So I'm going to put in a comment that says hollow out the house with air. And the code for that is mc.setBlocks. Somewhat similar to what we just did. It'll be x plus 1, y plus 1, and z plus 1, and x plus length minus one, y plus height, minus one, and z plus width, 
minus 1. So that's just basically saying by taking this minus 1 off the length, the height and the width, we're going to be building this hollow space just inside of the brick house here. So the exterior, so the outer layer of bricks will stay, but everything inside of it will disappear uh, into air. Now at the end of that, I'll just zoom out here, after the width minus one, you need to put a comma and tell Minecraft that we're going to be using the air block to hollow out this house. So put the word air and then close off your round brackets. Once done, give it a run and you should see the big brick slab appear again, but this time if you run over to it and bash a hole in the wall, you should be able to walk inside here and see that the whole house is hollowed out. So all those air blocks now have removed the bricks that were there originally. Alright, so that is looking good. Next thing we're going to add in is the door. So instead of me just bashing it out with my sword, I'm going to use some air blocks to make a door. So mc.setblocks is the start. I'm going to do x y plus 1 and then z plus 2. There are starting coordinates for the door. Then we're going to go to x plus 1, y plus 3 and then z plus 5. And the block we're going to use to build the door Actually, I've just typed in the wrong thing. It was y plus 3 and x plus 1. My mistake. I thought I was going a bit too far there. And the, um, yeah, sorry, the block we're going to be using to do the door is air. So hopefully I've just written those in right. Um, we'll give it a run and see. That looks pretty good to me. So we've now got an entrance to come into the house. And also lets in a bit of light so we can see what's going on inside of there. Now I believe there are some proper doors that you can put on. If you look in your block ID list here, you can work out the coordinates and stick some doors in there. Uh, but I'm going to keep it simple for now and just have that opening that we can walk straight in and out of. Alright, so the door looks good. Next thing we're going to put in are the windows. So we'll put in a comment that says windows. There's three lots of windows we're going to put in. One at the front and then one on each side. Um, so we'll start with the one on the front, which is mc set blocks and we're going to do x y plus 2 and z plus 4 to start with and then x y plus 3 and z plus 5 the variable we need to use here is the glass pane which comes under the window variable so just write window as your material and it'd be a good idea to put a comment at the end here that just says front window so we know that that's at the front of the house so testing that one, we should see some glass panes appear next to the door. Looking good. Now we'll do the side windows, which are pretty similar code to one another. So it's mc.setblocks, and we're going to be doing x plus 3, y plus 2, and then z. And then to finish off, we'll do x plus 7. Just put in too many spaces then. So, I'm going to x plus 7, y plus 3. It's not a capital. And then z. Just on its own. Oh, actually, hang on. Yeah, z on its own will work. Hopefully. And again, we need to tell it that we're using the window block or variable. And I'll call this the side window. And we'll give it a run. We'll see which side it is when we walk in the house. We go for wander in, you can see we've got our window there on the left. So that looks pretty good. Adds a bit more light into the house. Alright, so that's looking good. We just need to get the other side now. I might call that, instead of side window, I'll call it left window. So this will be the right hand side window coming in now, which has pretty similar code. So it's mc.setblocks. We'll go x plus 3 again, y plus 2 again. Change this one up a bit by writing z plus width. And then it's x plus 7, y plus 3, and then z plus width. So fairly similar to the line above it. Don't forget we need to put in the window um, variable at the end there just to say we're going to be using the glass panes to make the right hand side windows. All right, so let's give it a test run. If we go for a walk inside our house, we should see windows on either side of the house now, on the left and the right. 
So that's looking good. All right, coming in after the windows, we just got one more exterior feature, which is the roof. Now it's a little bit more advanced in this tutorial than what we did in the last one. Remember, we're going to have the gutter on there first, and then we're going to put a second layer of roof on top of that, just to make it look a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more realistic. So let's start with mc.setBlocks. I'm going to do x minus 1, y plus the height, and then z minus 1. And we'll do x plus length plus 1, y plus height, and z plus width plus 1. By having those plus ones on the width and the length, so just there and there on the x and the z axis, it allows a bit of overhang off the roof there. So it kind of looks like there's going to be a gutter on the roof. Uh, don't forget you need to put a comma here at the end of this set of brackets and write roof. Remember we're using the roof variable up here, which is equal to number 42, which is the iron roof block. So we'll close that round bracket off and give it a run, and we should see the first part of our roof appear on the house. You see it's got that overhang I was talking about on the x and the z axis. That's that plus one in the code. It gives us that extra block that hangs over the top of the bricks. Now to get the top of this roof going, we just don't do that um, plus one on the x and the z. We just do it on the height instead because we're going to go up one block higher, but we're not going to have the overhang this time. So it'll be mc.setBlocks be x, y plus height plus 1. So I'm one block higher than we previously did. And then z, and to finish off with, it will be x plus the length, y plus height plus 1, and then z plus the width. We then put the roof in, which is the roof variable, Saying we're building with the iron block one more time. Now, if we just step back a bit from the house, you'll see that that second layer is in now. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We've done the exterior. Time for the interior. So remember, we've got a bookshelf, a torch, which is a light, and a bed to go in. So coming down, we'll put in the bed first of all. So hashtag bed. MC.setBlocks. It's going to be multiple blocks here for the bed. The x plus length, oh, minus 1. Y plus 1, so we're just going one block above ground level. And z plus the width, minus 3. To finish off with, it'll be x plus length, minus 1 again. Y plus 1 again. And z plus width. Minus one. Now the material we're going to use here is obviously the bed. It comes from the bed variable we created a bit earlier. If we give it a run, we should get a bed in this back right corner. Oops, I just made a spelling mistake. I left a G out of length. And there it is. There's our bed in the back corner of the room. So that looks all good. We can jump up on that if we want. Um, coming in the other corner, we're going to do the bookshelf. So. Oops, front caps lock. We'll put in another lot of MC dot set blocks. We're going to put in two bookshelf here. MC dot set blocks. It'll be X plus the length minus one, and then Y plus one, and then Z plus one. To finish off with it'll be X plus length minus one again. We'll do y plus 2, so we go up another layer in the bookshelf, into the, up into the air, and then z plus 1 again. And the variable we're going to use here is one we created earlier called bookshelf. Okay, hopefully everything's good there. If we give that a run, we should see a bookshelf appear in the left back corner, which is all good. Now just to brighten up this back wall, we'll put in a torch, which is like a little light. So put in your comment that says torch, it's just mc.setBlock this time. We're not using set blocks for this one because we're just putting in one torch, which is one block. So get rid of the S on the end, just mc.setBlock. 
and it's going to be x plus length minus 1 and then y plus 3 to put it 3 blocks up into the air and z plus width minus 3 the variable we're using was the torch variable that we created a bit earlier that ought to do us so let's stop it run it run it again and there's our torch appearing on the back wall so we've got our house furnished as basic as it is got some nice windows let's let in some light we got the door and we got the roof and that right there is our advanced house if we go for a fly you can get a better look at how that roof works and if we do a big fly around you can see what the whole house looks like so that's getting pretty advanced now um, I'll see you in the next video tutorial where we go into something even more tricky. See you then.